she's actually the reason I started practicing swords. It's not like I wanted to protect her or anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole reason I started learning sword. Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a little different episode. Uh, I'll be just mainly chit-chatting. And as you know, I started this channel over a year ago and it's been a while. And if you have seen my content, uh, I spent a lot of time planning, shooting, and editing. And uh, I wanted to do a little more simpler project. It's not like I want to slack off or anything. And I decided to invite some of my favorite people and we'll be just chit chatting. Chitto chatto. Chitto means little in Japanese and chat. So let's invite our guest, Kiki Skezane! Do you want to introduce yourself or do you want me to introduce you? I want you to introduce. Okay. <laughs> Let me actually go to IMDb. Kiki Skezane, Yes. Is a Japanese actress active both in America and Japan, born in Kyoto to a family with historical samurai ancestry. Kiki was inspired to learn English and study abroad in South Dakota. Upon returning to Japan graduating, Kiki attended acting school in Tokyo before moving to Los Angeles. While honing her sword fighting skills, and she booked her first major role as Katana Girl, Miko Otomo, in NBC's <laughs> Heroes Reborn. Kiki has stayed active in the industry, booking roles in various television shows and films, including Lost in Space, Westworld, Earthquake Bird, and lead character Yuko Tanabe in The Terror. Kiki is one of my probably longest friends in LA, I think. Over 10 years. 10 years? You came to the States in 2000... 2012. I and... came to the States in 2011. So how we actually got to know each other was uh, there was a little party, I think, in Santa Monica. Sake party! <laughs> Sake party! <laughs> I went with somebody, and the somebody was trying to hit on her. <laughs> so that's how we got to know each other uh, 10 or 11 years ago. As I introduced her, NBC Heroes Reborn, uh, we had a pretty good role. <laughs> yes, we were in the same scene all the time. She was the star of the show, and it was actually for both of us, it was our first time to book any major gig in the States. Mm. And especially because it was not shooting in Los Angeles, it was shooting in Canada. Uh, we were just hanging out all the time, <laughs> yeah. I think. If you are not familiar with the show, uh, it was the uh, reboot of this uh, popular show called Heroes. That was a huge hit. Even all in Japan. Over the world. When so, I was in high school, yeah, I, I remember school. I was watching it from Japan. Mm -hmm. And then, so in 2015, they decided to do a uh, reboot. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yeah. a lot of new experience. Yeah, a lot of people said, your life is gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> Did it change for you? I think so, yeah, for a while. Well, I thought it didn't change much, honestly. I don't know. Honestly. Yeah. If you were in the show on the TV, if you were in the show on the TV, if you were もう5年とか10年とかいるのが当たり前だったのがここ10年ぐらいでもういろんな番組がいろんなメディアでネットリックスとかアマゾンとかテレビ外出てきてどんどんキャンセルされるようになったじゃんだからああいうこう大きいメ
So where were you born? <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Kyoto, raised in Kyoto till when I was around 20. 20 and yeah. then I moved to Tokyo for pursuing acting. And then after acting school in Tokyo, I just moved to LA. We came to the States around the same time, but we are actually also the same age. Huh. So we saw each other briefly at that uh, sake party or whatever party it was. And then we bump into each other at some commercial audition. Yeah. So Probably like we didn't even talk to each other. I was a image of a We had a lot of Japanese lines, so we had to actually translate yeah, so we, Our own after, lines. after we got cast, we met up at this uh, restaurant called Swinger and uh, we were translating together. And what's difficult is uh, even though we had a, a Japanese consultant person, mm. you know, they take a memo if you stutter or if you make a mistake, that doesn't mean that information is going to go to editing room. And in the editing room, they often don't really have anyone who speaks Japanese. Mm -hmm. So when it comes out, sometimes you know they end up using um, take like where, especially I, I was stuttering a lot. It, there was one time that my my line was re wrapping, re so, oh, re wrapping. So, so, so. They're gonna mix like master shot and close up shot, yeah. right? If you if you switch uh, certain like objectives or uh, some words. And then when they uh, mix everything, uh, master shot and close up shot and everything, sometimes they end up having like uh, two words overlapped. Almost like, oh, today is a sunny, sunny weather or something like that. Uh, I don't know if you guys understand, but <laughs> I remember I actually got a, a tweet uh, from Japanese people saying, oh, this actor's Japanese is pretty good <laughs> so they think i'm not japanese but um i'm speaking japanese very well so it was a little sad it's not only for heroes it's like so, yeah. they have the same similar problems with uh, all those tv shows that they have to have a japanese lines そうそうそうなんだよ。なんかなんかこうなんかこう聞いてて。あ、寿司。なんかさ、こう日本人の人がこうやってあの映画とかさ、テレビとかに出てる時にさ、なんか違和感感じる時あると思うんだよね。ってい
Japanese sword. <laughs> so the story is we had a little scene uh, where her character was supposed to teach me some sword movement. Kendo みたいな感じだったね。そう。We are using a bamboo shinai, bamboo sword. My character and also I myself, I had never practiced any sword back then. It was、uh, my first time to do any action scene. And then we were getting tired because we had so many takes for that scene. And then there was a moment I had to swing sideways to this way, and then she was then supposed to, to duck. duck. I. <laughs> Heard、Thanks. this sound like, and then sure enough, I looked back. She was literally covered in blood. Like, <laughs> actually, like blood was actually dripping yeah, from her that hair. Yeah, that was really dripping. He hit my head, forehead. So, so, and then there was like blood all over the place. And then the and producer I, came. Producer and, and producer's <laughs> face was all <laughs> pale, and your face was so pale. And、I, I think was that was. With blood. I think that was my first time ever that I said, f my life." <laughs>、uh, I heard some people saying, "Medic, medic!" Yeah, everybody was calling. <laughs> medic, medic people came. You know,、yeah. they're trying to take care of her. She got carried into the hospital. That was actually the day before the premiere date. Oh, really? I think so. And everyone was like, "Oh, we have to tweet, and we have to, you know, like they're going crazy on social media." And I'm like, "I don't feel like <laughs> tweeting." <laughs> and she was stuck in hospital till like 2 a.m. Yeah, it was like so late. Like it was full of people waiting, waited for like five, six hours. And back and then, then I was in hotel, just being nervous. <laughs> I was trying, I was waiting for a phone call or text from her because I was so worried and I was feeling like horrible. But it wasn't too, too bad. It was only like two stitches or something. Yeah, I remember、and、you glued a little bit, and then you the came、beginning. back to LA, and、yeah. then you did some stitches. Yeah. Yeah. もうね、わかんないと。ちょっと身が硬い。I'm glad it was her. This sounds very wrong, but I'm glad that was her because、uh, <laughs> she's a very strong person, and you know we stayed really good friends after that. And I don't sue people. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the whole reason I started、uh, learning sword. I came back to LA. I started going to、uh, this Japanese kenjutsu school in LA. Since then,、uh, I've been still practicing swords. So it's thanks to her. <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks to the injury I got to、uh, learn the skill. So now, looking back,、uh, I wouldn't say it was a good memory, but yeah, it was memorable. It was, it was memorable、moment. and something to、um, learn and gain from. I think. But everyone, be careful. Yes. Yes. You have to learn basic. Yes. <laughs> Benign tumor on my brain. The、yeah. surgery was like twelve hours. My nerve connected to a wrong way. My brain photo.